Hi, today I want to talk about permanent makeup that can go wrong. So let's start with eyebrows. I don't know if you've seen this, but I've seen a lot of eyebrows that have been microbladed or tattooed that look like block of colour. So the eyebrows look like they're grey or they're bluey black and they're just a shape, an eyebrow shape, and usually they're quite blocky. Um, and it's really obvious that they've been tattooed, which isn't a good look. Um, I've also seen eyebrows that are the wrong shape. The, the, the technician that's done the eyebrows have either done wonky eyebrows or they've done the wrong shape. Um, and obviously they're on that person's face and now they're stuck with that shape. Something else that happens quite a lot is that the colour changes over time with um, microbladen or tattooing and they can fade down to like an orangey colour. Now pigments have really advanced over the years and are much better now. It tends to be the older pigments when people had their brows tattooed uh, quite a few years ago that they're the ones that seem to change colour more than the most recent pigments that are used. So it's less common now, however, if you haven't had a colour boost done, you may you may still be walking around with orange eyebrows. So they're the three big things I think that I notice which is wrong with permanent makeup. The um, application's wrong and they look like a, a block stuck on shape. The colour's gone grey or blue. The eyebrows are the wrong shape or they're uneven. Um, or the arches are in a slightly wrong place or over time the colour has turned to an orange or a salmon colour. With regards to eyeliner, the subject I spoke about in the last video was migration. That's one of the biggest things that can go wrong with having your eyeliner tattooed is that the pigment can spread under the skin and that's due to the person that's doing the tattooing making an error and using too much pressure that the ink sprays under the skin and it leaves like a bruise um, around the eyeline area. Again, the shape can be slightly wrong. If you're having tails tattooed on, the um, sometimes the tails are slightly offline and obviously that's gonna be there permanently as well. Um, and that's all down to checking the shape before the tattooing takes place and ensuring that you're happy before any tattooing starts. So always make sure the technician draws the eyeliner on before the tattooing so you know exactly what they're gonna do. Then there's lips. So a lot of people use tattooing on lips to enhance their shape, to make their lips look bigger. Now it's a wonderful treatment for enhancing your lips and can make them look slightly fuller. However, what needs to be done is the line needs to be tattooed literally on the top, on the edge of your natural lip line, just outside of that, that natural lip line, but not where there's your lip colour skin and then the lip lines drawn outside of your lip on your natural um, skin, not in your lip skin. Um, and then what happens is um, people do this to make their lips bigger and the, the ink sits differently in your skin compared to your lip skin. So if the colour isn't put in correctly, what you'll have is you'll have a lip line, you'll have your skin and then you'll have your lips underneath. Um, what also can happen is that some people go round the corners here with their tattooing and to try and enhance their lips. And again, just stick on the lip line. You can make that lip line more beautiful. You can change the shape slightly. And quite often we've lost our, our pigmentation on the edge of our lips. So just putting that back gives you the look of a fuller lip. Filler, tattooing and filler in combination together is your best way of getting a bigger lip. You need to make sure the technician is 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 um, very competent at doing lips because if they don't hold their needle in the right position or they put too much pressure, you can have a fuzzy line rather than a super sharp crisp line. So you need to make sure that uh, whoever does your tattooing has done um, a lot of lips before. So remedy to all of these problems is long-winded. However, with regards to eyebrows, Laser tattoo removal pretty much will lift out the colours. If they've gone to a block eyebrow, do a couple of laser tattoo removal treatments and then you can have your eyebrows re-tattooed with the hair strokes and the right colour. Um, so that's quite an easy fix. Again, if the shape's wrong, you can go through laser tattoo removal to get them taken off. Um, 
it is a bit of a process, but um, it does it can does work. And if your brows have gone a salmon or an orange colour, you just need to have a colour boost done on them and the person doing the treatment will know how to colour correct the orange to make it back to brown. So eyebrow remedies are quite easy. Eyeliner, if it's migrated, again, laser tattoo removal will lift that migration. It's just very uncomfortable. Can be a little bit of a process as well. However, it can be corrected. With regards to lips, if the lips are wrong, it's difficult to remove the red from the skin. So a laser won't work on that colour. Um, there are methods of removing um, pigment through tattooing in um, a solution that draws the ink up to the surface of the skin. However, you have a process of healing which is very scabby and sore and it will take a long time. It takes numerous treatments to um, keep trying to lift that colour up out of the lip. So um, out of all of the areas, lips are the hardest to correct. Um, so again, what I, I keep saying in all of my videos, check who's doing your permanent makeup and check that they are good before you go ahead and um, have any treatments done. Because it could cost you a lot more money if you have to go down a removal path. And that's all for now. I shall see you in the next video.